First, select the hearing aid that is relevant for your client. Tinnitus Sound Support comes with all styles of open hearing aids. Many clients with tinnitus will find relief in amplification alone. To accommodate this, set P1 for amplification only. Tinnitus Sound Support can be implemented in any of the four programs. Create a second program in P2 and go to the Tinnitus tool. Turn Tinnitus Sound Support on. The tool offers broadband relief sounds and nature-like relief sounds. The default relief sound is a broadband sound shaped to the client's audiogram. You can also choose white, pink, or red broadband sounds. White is flat, while pink and red have decreasing spectrums. The Nature Sounds tab gives you access to three relief sounds that mimic the rhythm of the ocean. The modulation feature varies the depth and speed of the broadband sound over time. You can choose between four different modulation settings. The microphone in the hearing aid is turned on by default. Turn off the microphone if you want to offer a program with tinnitus sound support only. If you turn the microphone off, you will be made aware of this if you leave the tinnitus tool and go to another tool. You can adjust tinnitus sound support according to your treatment goals. You can adjust the general signal level, or you can shape the frequency for individual bands. You can make changes simultaneously to both sides by using the link button, or you can choose to make adjustments to each side independently of each other. The automatic level steering adjusts the intensity of the tinnitus relief sound automatically in response to the environmental sound. As the environmental sound increases above 50 dB SPL, the tinnitus relief sound level decreases. You may want to set nature sounds in P3 to be a soothing alternative to the broadband sounds in P2. When you select nature sounds, you can choose between three types of ocean sounds. Be aware that the tinnitus sounds can create high-level outputs. If you fit hearing aids over 80 dB, you will get a warning and should instruct the client on maximum wearing time. You can configure the push buttons to operate as a volume control for the tinnitus sound support relief sounds. On the end fitting screen, select buttons and indicators. If you have a program on the hearing aids with amplification only, the volume control will just regulate the gain. If you wish to configure the push buttons for the tinnitus programs, go to the tinnitus volume control tab. If you are fitting BTE 13 plus power or mini right T hearing aids, the double push button works as a volume control for tinnitus sound support relief sounds. It can be coordinated between hearing aids in a binaural fitting. If you are fitting a mini right hearing aid, the single push button can have two modes. With binaural coordination on, pressing the push button adjusts the tinnitus relief sound volume of both hearing aids. That is, pressing the button on the right side turns the volume up, and pressing the button on the left side turns the volume down. With binaural coordination turned off, pressing the push button on one hearing aid adjusts the relief sound volume for that hearing aid only. Each time you press the button, you increase the volume until the maximum volume is reached. After that, each press of the button decreases the volume until the bottom of the range is reached. 
The cycle then repeats itself. You may want to adjust the volume control range. Please refer to the help file to see the range for different hearing aids. Please be aware that the tinnitus relief sound can exceed 80 dBA SPL. If you receive a warning, you should counsel the client about maximum wearing time. When a tinnitus sound support program is on, you can still control the volume of the microphone with the remote control or via the Oticon On smartphone app. Save and end the session to conclude fitting the tinnitus sound support hearing aid. For more information about tinnitus and sound therapy, please refer to the Tinnitus Treatment Management Handbook and the Tinnitus White Paper, both developed by Oticon. Thank you for your time.